the Ideas Campus in Playa Vista, where UCLA students pursuing a master's in architecture and urban design spend one year on a dedicated research topic. The Super Studio, as this research platform is called, is comprised of three independent studios, led by some of architecture's leading innovators. Professor Greg Lynn is focusing on the potential of intelligent, dynamic, moving structures. This studio is called Super Aero Robo Spatial. What we're doing now is we're looking at architecture and saying what are the things that we could move and how would we move them instead of being just open and closed. Maybe they might be moving subtly all day. So we're really trying to say, how do you take those existing things and make them move in an intelligent way and actually design that motion? Because right now it's engineers that are designing that motion. We want to see what are the potentials for architects to think about that kind of motion. I really would like to have this Ideas Campus as a platform to house sort of a community of interesting people and interesting entities. And this itself it has a very unique uh, uh, mechanism so that the one instructor will teach a group of students throughout the year pursuing one thing. You know, rotate it however it rotates through and stop it. Then take your massing run and your aperture run and make this pyramid a little more interesting. Forget this, and also, by the way, forget this whole thing, the whole ice cream part of your project. Well, I really think it's my job to prepare students not for the present, but to prepare them for 10 years out. The reason they come here is because they want to elevate their game a little bit, they want to be involved in, let's say, more of a cultural practice than a service practice. He makes you think. Even if at some point he, he sounds like a kind of uh, rude, like really uh, going at it to your project, you know that he's not being mean. He wants you to really rethink your things. What's been the case is we design something as architects, and then we take that design and convert it to a code that an industrial machine understands. So the same software we design in is the software we run the robots with. So we had 40 students come here, and in two weeks, every student was running a robot. It's shocking how quickly that's happened here. Before this, we could uh, use lots of softwares. Yes, they were very interesting, but you have the technology outside of your computer. And this is a kind of technology that I haven't experienced before. I had asked myself a couple years ago when the self-driving car with Google was on the streets, I thought if they can make a car drive around in public streets, why can't we have you know, some part of your building know it needs to be somewhere and get there? And really for me, this is like the self-driving car kind of experiment. You know, It's gonna spin off in a lot of ways. It's not gonna be clear where it's all gonna go, but you know it's gonna be what you have to do to stay relevant. The field of technology got expanded way beyond that the architecture can deal with in a traditional way. But if you look at the definition of architect, it's a profession to integrate the technologies. And I really want to have these ideas as a place to actually think about the new definition of architecture. <laughs>